know, I really, you know, I started to, I think it's been good for my old, like, personality getting in there out of the suit. I mean, the suit isn't uncomfortable to wear, but if you had to, like, get changed in and out of your clothes four or five hundred times a day, it starts to get irritating, you know, like, so, um, in and out of the suit, but I'm, I'm just sort of having a lot of fun. People are noticing that I'm becoming, like, more relaxed as a person and stuff, so I think this, I think... What roof has been good for me, always. That's a story in itself. You're a roofer. And it's all to do with apparel. <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing internal. There's, no, there's nothing about the actual character of it. It's just the suit. That's it's just like therapy, based on... <laughs> No, that might get weird. Yeah, no, it like might that. get into that furry territory. Well, right? it's, it's therapy, yeah. <laughs> but maybe, you know, you get a, a, a mentally wounded person in an animal suit and then, like, get them to find their inner animal and talk to you about their problems. Maybe, maybe there's something in it. Recently, someone was saying, you know, like... Well, I was thinking of opening up an agency of, like, race Australian males, men, that, like, come and become your, like, your, like, personal trainer, like life coach, turn you basically hang around you in an animal suit, turn your life upside down. Because people always writing to me and saying, you know, I want a wolf I want a wolf and I'm like, dude, see, really? Do you really think about that? And they're like, no, I want one. So maybe I should like create an agency and like uh, sell like rent out wolf yeah. They see the scene in episode. Uh, they... Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I still want it. That's, in fact, that was when the request spiked after that episode. <laughs> <laughs> I want I've got nothing. I want that. I, I want what he's having. <laughs> now you could charge a lot then for those yeah. Australian life coaches. I got it. How much of the character do you bring home with you, like, off the set? Like, how is the comparison? Like, um, look, when I first did the short film years ago, all my friends watched it and they went, that's just you in a dog suit, you know, and, and there is a, there is a lot bit of me there, but over the years he's really developed into his own character and, and people like that, like who was just here and, and the other guys, they're like, it's weird for them because I'm in the writer's room for three months, they, I mean, we have the luxury of whenever we're pitching something funny, I can get up and do it, show them and know if it really works, but when they act, when it goes into shooting and I go get in the suit and I actually start doing it, they're like, wow, oh, like, you're good. And like, we, we forget that you, we know you, but when you're Wilbur, it's, it's a completely different thing. And um, so, look, I, I'm getting better at switching off from work. I forget that I'm in Wilbur. I really do. Like, now, like, after this, like, uh, Comic Con, I'll watch an episode on Thursday night and then, and, I, and I'll sometimes forget they're even on. And other than that, I don't even know that I'm. I'm I'm not for anymore. Like so, occasionally I'll like go somewhere and someone will recognise me, and I'll be like, oh, that's right, I'm on TV. But, uh, but uh, I mean, that's that's um, that's been as much a conscious decision as um, as I've been lucky that Wilfred disguises a lot of what I look like, so I don't get recognised as much. But also, you know, I want to have a I want to have a, like a normal life, you know? and, um, and 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 have and, and family and things like that, and. I, I'm trying to work out the right balance. How is, uh, you know, this in incarnation of, of Wilfred, do you think that the, the supporting characters that you have in this show and the relationship that is being bonded between Ryan and being pulled away from Ryan, how has that created Wilfred into something new and, and, and energetic for you to continue doing it for multiple seasons? Well, Elijah's, Elijah's Ryan informs so much about what I do, and you know I feel so um, so lucky to be blessed to work with, with Elijah, and he gives me such a um, confidence. There's no ego, actors' egos there. There's no like some people, especially in comedies. Uh, threatened by the, the funniest person, you know, but he, if he sees me doing something that's like working, I mean, I'm just throwing a shit at the wall and seeing what sticks, and if he's, and he'll like latch onto something, and sometimes I'll be surprised by how subtly, like complex what I'm doing is. There was a, there's a, an episode this year where um, they're, it's like a Scooby-Doo episode, they're chasing this new boyfriend of, of uh, I think it was episode three, this new boyfriend of, um, of, 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 of Christian and this character started coming out in me where you know he was talking about like 
he's going, well, I think we have all the information we need. You know, he's really, he's almost like this uh, Australian politician, the way he was speaking. And I just started talking like this, and he's like, what is that you're doing? What is that voice? And I'm like, oh, no, no, it's kind of like you know, some sort of Australian politician. He's going, whatever you're doing, keep it going. And, and then before we knew it, everyone was like, everyone on set for weeks were kind of saying, well, I think we have all the information we need. <laughs> and so working with Elijah allows me to really take a bunch of risks that I otherwise might feel more intimidated to do. And, you know, it's, it's, it's great.